Red pine and white pine are two species of pine trees that commonly grow together throughout much of their range. In some cases, you may even find these two trees growing right next to each other in the same forest. So you may have wondered, if you have these trees in your area, how do you tell the difference between a white pine and a red pine? And that's what we're going to look at in today's video. So when you come across a pine tree in the forest and you want to be able to tell what kind of tree it is, one of the very first things that you should do is to take a closer look at the needles. And what we want to do is we want to count the needles. So if you go right up close to where the needles connect into the branch, notice how the needles come off the branch in clumps. And what you want to do is you want to find one individual clump and you want to count the needles in the clump. So the red pine has two needles in each clump that comes off the branch. And this will be consistent across all red pines. However, just because you see two needles, it doesn't guarantee that you're looking at a red pine. There may be other pines that also have two needles. So we'll talk about some other identification clues. But as far as telling red pine from white pine, the white pine when you go up and you count the needles in the clump, you will find that they have five needles in each clump. And so this is the most basic foolproof way to tell the difference between white pine and red pine. Of course, you don't just want to have to rely on counting needles every time you identify the tree. So. We've got some other identification clues and we're going to get more and more subtle as we go along. The next thing you want to look at is the cones. And these are a little bit less reliable because at certain times of year, depending on the time of year, the cones will be in various stages of development. So they might be up in the tree, still green, still forming, or they might be on the ground, partially decayed, and some trees in certain years may not produce that many cones. But the difference you want to look for between white pine and red pine is that white pine cones are much longer than the red pine cones. And the red pine cones are almost circular in their shape. They're almost as wide as they are tall, whereas the white pine cones are much longer. So you can look for this well into the winter time before there's a lot of snow cover, you can go out and you can look on the ground beneath the pine trees that you're trying to identify. If you're not sure if it's a white pine or a red pine, look at the size of these cones and the difference will be really obvious. Now the next thing you want to look at is the bark and we can really reliably tell the difference between white pine and red pine by the bark. and. The way to tell the difference, one of the things that really stands out to me about the red pine bark is that it really does have quite a distinct red color that shines through. And really, once you see this, once you know this and can recognize this pale red color, it actually can be seen from quite far away. The white pine bark is much darker and it really has a different texture. The red pine bark is more flaky and sometimes kind of like potato chips peeling off, whereas the white pine bark is more smooth when it's young and has longer ridges as it gets older. But one of the key things to remember about the bark is that it does change as the trees get old. And so the way that you can learn to tell the difference and identify white pine and red pine by their bark is to spend lots of time comparing different ages of trees. So you want to find like a young white pine and you can confirm it with the needles and then look at the bark. I often find that the young white pines have kind of like a greenish color to their bark. And then find a young red pine and look at its bark. And the red really often does come through very strongly in the young trees. Then you go out and you find maybe like a teenager white pine and a teenager red pine and compare their bark. And then go out and find adult white pine and an adult red pine and compare their bark. And you'll see that as they age, as they grow up, their bark does change, but there's a consistent sort of thread that runs through it that 
stays true through the entire life of that tree. If you can find an old growth white pine to compare with an old growth red pine, that is really ideal. So those three clues, the needles, the cones, and the bark, will really help you confidently identify red pine and white pine. However, these methods still require a little bit of thought. They take a little bit of time for you to look and figure it out. My favorite way to identify white pine and red pine is that if you spend enough time looking at these trees from further back and tuning into like the overall shape, the overall what we might call the gestalt of the tree, the whole tree together as one, there are really obvious differences between the white pine and the red pine. The red pine has overall a very different shape to its crown. It's much more round in its overall shape, with its branches kind of reaching up in a ball towards the sky. The white pine's branches extend much more laterally. I often see in white pines, they have branches that really just stretch out like arms in a very obvious kind of way. The appearance of the needles from a distance also looks quite different. The red pine has needles that form in clusters that leave little holes that you can actually see through to the sky beyond. The white pine, the needles grow much more consistently along the branches and gives it a much more softer appearance. It doesn't have those holes that you can look through to the sky, but you might have along the long extending branches, you might see a line of sky running parallel to the branches. It's subtle kind of stuff, but it's really quite obvious when you spend some time looking for this. Imagine being able to identify a red pine and a white pine from a hundred feet away in the snap of a fingers. That really is possible. And it's a much more practical way to identify these trees because when you're out in the forest and you're just hiking around or you're foraging or you're tracking animals or you're doing whatever it is you're doing, you don't want to have to stop and spend five minutes identifying a tree. If you can identify the trees around you in half a second, it gives you so much more information about the forest and to be able to do it from farther distances. So the way that you do this is you want to find a red pine and a white pine growing very close together, like right next to each other. And then you want to practice comparing these two trees side by side from varying distances. So you might start at like maybe 20 or 30 feet away and you just stand there or sit there and look at these two trees and look back and forth. So look at the white pine look at the red pine, then look at the white pine, and look at the red pine. And if you just spend some time comparing, going back and forth, these differences will become more and more apparent to your own eye. You might not be able to put it into words what you're actually seeing, but you are definitely seeing a difference between the red pine and the white pine. Then you want to move back maybe 50 feet and repeat the exercise, just going back and forth, and then move back again a hundred feet and just keep moving back farther and farther and farther from the tree. And as you practice this, you will get to the point where you can identify the white pine and the red pine almost instantaneously. You don't have to really think about it too much and you'll just be able to see the difference. So have fun out there getting to know your pines. And if you want to learn more about coniferous identification, I actually created an online guide that talks about telling pines from fir and spruce and hemlock and all these different coniferous trees. So if you want to learn more about coniferous identification, I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Thanks for watching today. I hope you found this video interesting and I will see you next time.